Hello everyone, welcome to our weekly report on the development of our 3D audio library Palace. In this release, 0.1.3, the highlight is the improvement of the API involving the, the effect. Other auxiliary changes include adding tests for the listener class, finish the information query example and optimize the continuous integration, continuous delivery. First, about the API, we abstracted away the auxiliary effect slot, which make the registration of the effect a lot easier. From the old and cumbersome syntax, now we offer a much more Pythonic version. Please pay attention here. We will talk about this right after. The beauty about Python, in my opinion, is that most of the syntax is just a synthetic sugar around a call to a magic method. Take this sort those cents, for instance. It's just returning a new instance of a auxiliary sense class. This in fact is not an attribute of the object sort. And indexing this auxiliary sense object is nothing but assessing the character magic method which return a new object send path. And setting say the filter of the send path now really call the Civipus API here set send filter. Additionally we also finished the info example which query all the information about the audio device as well as the supported 3D rendering. Next, about testing, we also test the listener class as well as added all the examples as functional tests. We restructure the test directory. Now we have unit tests and functional tests. The coverage now bumped to 66%, which is a huge increase from last time, which was 51%, if I recall correctly. Finally, the continuous integration and continuous delivery is greatly improved. As you can see from the last release, the build time for macOS was around 15 minutes. Now it decreased to only 5 minutes in release 0.1.3. We also added initial support for continuous integration on Windows. Unfortunately, due to compiler issues, we have yet to build Palace on Windows. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care.